girl. It's a palette for me, sis. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a haul video. I hope you guys notice a difference in the lighting. So if I have adjusted my lighting, I got some new lights, I got some new backlight up lights, some new studio lights. I have one or two more things coming to help improve the quality of the videos on this channel. Um, so yes, you have not seen yet the makeup tutorial. So hopefully the makeup tutorial comes out how I envision it, um, especially with the new lighting. That video will be up after this video. Today's video is going to be a haul video. Woohoo! We love hauls, even though we're not going nowhere because we're in a pandemic. But nonetheless, we still like to haul. So if you would like to see what I got on this haul, then make sure you keep on watching. All right, so mostly everything is from Sephora except for a few items. Um, a couple of items are from Ulta. Um, so yes, the first, first, first new brand that I wanna talk about is from Sephora, this one is the LYS brand, and this is a new black owned um, beauty foundation, skin, not skincare, but makeup line at Sephora, and this is the LYS Beauty. I got the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder, and I got the shade Medium Tan. So let's open this up. I don't even know, it's like a triangle. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. So, I'm just gonna tear the package at this point. All right, so, so the packaging looks like this. It is a triangle palette, and this is the powder. Um, we're gonna see, the mirror is okay. The only thing that I will say about the mirror is it's awkward as far as it being a triangle. However, I am excited to try the powder. It's definitely translucent, feels really good, and it definitely disappeared into the skin. So we're gonna put that to the test. So also from the brand, I got their foundation, and I got the shade DPG1. It was kind of awkward picking out a shade online um, for this particular brand. Even though it's awkward for every brand, I feel like just because I wasn't sure if the color was gonna oxidize or what, so yes, but I did get DPG1. This is what the packaging looks like. It is very, very sturdy and it is super, super pretty packaging. Um, so let's pump it to see. Oh, whew. I feel like I might've done really well with this color. Yeah, let's see. Oh, oh I think I did good. We're gonna see, hold on. Oh, I did good. <laughs> So this color is very, very pretty. This is supposed to be like a skincare um, and a foundation. It has the Triple Fix Serum Foundation, yes, with HA plus turmeric and ashwagandha. It is cruelty-free, vegan-free, and gluten-free. So I'm super excited to try this one. Um, so look for this in um, What's New in Makeup video. I'm super excited. I'm really, really excited to try this out. Um, also from um, Sephora, Danessa Myricks is officially in Sephora, so I'm super excited about that. Love Danessa Myricks. This is another black-owned brand, and I grabbed her. I grabbed her Evolution powder, and this is a setting powder. And let's see. Yes, Danessa. So this is a setting powder, and I got like the banana type of color. Yep, yellow. Um, so I'm super excited to try this out. This is also gonna be in a video. It has like a little sifter in there with the stopper. So that's definitely a plus. I'm excited to try this. Super excited to try this. Now, also from, also from Miss Danessa, I got two of her highlighting palettes. I'm, super, I'm really excited for this too. So this is what, ooh, this is what her packaging looks like. This is the Light Work Palette 2. Oh, so stinking gorgeous. The palette by itself. All right, so let's see. Even the inside. All right, so even the inside packaging is glitter. You can't tell me that's not 
girl. It's the palette for me, sis. Um, super, super pretty. So, oh, this is her highlight palette. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Let's still watch a few. All right, so what I really love about this Danessa Marks Light Work 2 palette is it has a sheen to it, so this is gonna look super wet on the skin. Um, if you know anything about Danessa, she really focuses on artistry and skin and being creative, but it, this, her, her main focus is skin, and the skin is always, always flawless. So, I'm excited to get my hands on this palette. I cannot wait to play with it. So, so gorgeous. And then for my kit, I also got the Light Work um, One palette, and this is for fair, uh, fair skinned toned women. So this is what that packaging looks like. It's silver, sorry, the reflection. It's silver. Um, and yeah, let's see what this one looks like on the inside. I'm super excited about this because Danessa skin game, when it comes to like makeup and artistry, Danessa skin game is on point, okay? Can't nobody mess with Danessa in the skin. So I'm super excited. So this is what this one looks like. The packaging is still silver. Like super pretty, super pretty, super pretty. So I'm really excited about this one because she be killing it, man. She be killing it. So I'm excited to have this in my kit, like super excited. And it's a black owned brand, so can't wait. All right, so the next product that I grabbed from Sephora was the Benefit Boing Concealer. I remember we remember we tried this in the last video and I had the shade number nine and I felt like that was a little too light, a lot of it too light. So I went up a shade to shade 10 and I actually think I could have went to the 11. However, I'm gonna stick with 10 and we're gonna try this in another video. And that series, I'm excited about that series. So just, just stay tuned for that series. I have like two or three more videos before you see that one, two videos before you see that one. So yes, just keep an eye out. We're gonna try this again. Try this again. All right, so I don't know if you guys can tell, probably not, I hope so. I mean, I hope not, but I hope so because I hope the quality of this is amazing. Um, however, I did break out from my mask. It had some makeup on there that does not agree with my skin um, whatsoever. So it definitely broke me out. Like my face is in a rash. So I needed a new, another face wash. So I wanted to try this Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. I always hear really good things about this. So I wanted to try it out for myself to see. Um, it is supposed to be um, for all skin types. It's supposed to be intensively hydrating, removes makeup and impurities. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this one out and see how it goes. I also got one of these Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kiss Color Bomb. This is supposed to give your lips nice, the, the look of a full, <laughs> this is supposed to give your lips a fullness and look, but it's supposed to be like a wash of color um, and just kind of plump the lips up. So I really wanted to try this one out. This one is in the color, what color is this? Crystal Happiness, this is the sheer one, like super, super fair, it's like a pink. Um, so it's not gonna show like too much color, just like very like your lips but better type of feel. Then I also grabbed the Huda Beauty Brow, Balm Brow Pencil. I got the color Black Brown. I don't even know why I keep trying stuff from her brand. I like Huda, but it does not agree with my skin. That's what kind of broke me out, I think. All right, so one side is the spoolie, and then the other side is the pencil. So let's see. All right, the color looks actually really good. So I'm excited to try this out. This will be also in an upcoming uh, new product video. I'm excited, we got a lot of new stuff to try. All right, so that was the online order from Sephora. Let's move into in-store purchases. All right, so Sephora came out with a new setting powder and this was the translucent setting, power, setting powder 
from Sephora. So I wanted to try this out. This was like $15. So it's a little small little thing. You only get not even a full ounce. That's kind of weird. Um, however, I did want to try it out. So mama put it in the bag. I also grabbed the Belief, the True Cream, the Belief True Cream Moisture Balm. So this is supposed to be extremely hydrating to the skin. Um, and I needed a new cream to help settle my skin, a new moisturizer, because I think the one that I'm using now, my skin is accustomed to it. And I don't feel like it is helping the situation. So I wanted to try this one out and put it to the test. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try this one. I heard this was really, really good as well. So we gonna see and I'm gonna let you know. All right, so then I went and I grabbed the Fab Aid Beauty. This is called, this is the first Aid Beauty brand. And this is my little secret to when I get break, not breakouts, but if I like break out from a rash or have an allergic reaction, First Aid Beauty works on my skin phenomenally. It calms my skin down. It kind of brings everything back. So I went and I had to grab the moisturizer to this brand because I already use the oil and the oil um, calms my skin if I have a breakout from a rash or whatever I might have. If I put it on my skin, the next day my skin is a whole lot calmer. So I grabbed the moisturizer and I also grabbed the ultra repair. Oh, it comes with a big one and a small one. So I grabbed that one and this one was um, on sale. Its value was $60 and was only $40. So. That was definitely a good, a good, a really good deal. Then, just because I'm a sucker, I grabbed some candles. This is by, by Velospa. This one has the mint, the mini 10 candle. This is the vanilla mini 10 candle trio. Oh my goodness. So the three um, scents that you get is sandal vanilla, vanilla latte, and Tahitian coconut vanilla. These smell so 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 good especially the vanilla latte the van vanilla latte smells amazing but they're just like mini candles they're not like huge candles so i'm probably just gonna put them um in my makeup room oh. mm. i'm probably just gonna either put them in my makeup room or put them in my bathroom one or the other but they're just like small little candles that i felt would be super super pretty and they smell really good once you burn them i was gonna get two but i was like girl just get one you don't need to just get one you don't need it but i almost did it so then i got also because my skin was is in this little funk right now i grabbed the um ufo the ferrero ufo 2 so this is the one that has the mask like you put the mask um serum in there and then you just kind of leave it on your skin and it full face um so i really wanted this to calm my skin down to help calm my skin down so I got this one. This one is supposed to, let's see, let's see. Power Mask Treatment, Hyper Infusion Technology, has hot and cold therapy, um, full spectrum LED light, and UFO Power Activated Mask. So I'm super excited to really, I'm really excited to try this one. So I got two of the masks. I got Make My Day, which is hydration, because you, nah, you guys know that I'm dry. So anything with hydration, mom was like, I need it. I need it. So I got the hydration one that's to make my day. And then I also got the one that is call it a night. And this is supposed is supposed to revitalize and nourishing. It has ginseng and olive oil in it. So this is supposed to help repair and keep your skin flawless while sleeping. So I'm super excited. So I think I'm to tonight. And I think that's gonna be another video tonight. So three videos in one day, girl. Who is she? Who is she? I don't even know. I don't even know but I'm on it um so yes I'm excited to try that out I'm really excited to try that all right Ooh. then oh I also got so remember we tried this Tatcha out in the last video where it was the Tatcha the liquid silk, silk canvas I loved how that felt on my skin so I went and picked it up this is the primer this is amazing if you don't know what video I'm talking about I will link it up above so you can go ahead and check check it out after this video is over or you can pause this video and go watch that video and then come back and watch this one finish watching this one but I had to pick up the full-size bottle because I loved 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 how it made my skin feel so, super excited to try lots one as well um, then Let's, let's keep it in the Sephora realm. 
back before we go to order. So I also got the Laneige. I can't remember if I showed you guys this in my last um, haul. I don't think I did, but I did grab the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I was like, super, super excited to try this one when it came out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to put this to the test and bring this upstairs to my bathroom so I can remember to use it. Because if I don't see it, I sometimes forget. So I gotta make sure I see it. So this is gonna come upstairs to me. Then I also got the um, one size uh, makeup remover spray. This one is actually really, really good. It does leave an oil residue on the skin. So this is not something that you would use by itself and then go to sleep. This is something that you use to take the makeup off and then wash your face after. And then wash it again. So yes, I definitely wanted to um, get the full size. This is not even the full size. I think this is the smaller size. Um, I wanted to get one of these to throw in my kit. Also got the um, Kiehl's Clear and Corrective Dark Spot Solution. So this is supposed to help even out skin tone if you have dark spots or whatever from wherever it's from, acne or just picking at your skin. This is supposed to help it. So I wanted to try this out as well. I also got the Patrick Ta She's Thirsty Setting Spray, Setting Mist. So I'm going to try this out too. I think this is the dewy one where it's supposed to keep you like, yeah, this is like super glowy so this is going to be perfect for spring and summer so you can like, bring in the weather so since 2020 played us we weren't able to go outside and enjoy so hopefully 2021 is a little bit easier on us and we can enjoy the glow next i wanted to try the biosance squalene plus vitamin c dark spot serum this is another dark spot serum um this is also new to sephora i think it's rather new to sephora um so i definitely want to try this out because i do love the biosance brand in general and I think I'm sensitive to vitamin C, but I still wanted to try it out just to see um, if I am or if it was just a particular product that I was using. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try this out together and see. I don't know if I'm going to bring this upstairs quite yet, but yeah, we're going to Once my skin calms down, then I think this will come upstairs. I don't want to aggravate it no more. I'm, I'm, I want to bring it down. So bring it down. Bring the irritation down. All right, so next also, this is the Makeup Forever Primer, and this one is the Shine Control. This one is going to go in my kit as well because I am not oily, so I don't need this, but this one was for my kit because I love Makeup Forever. So we're going to put this in the skin, and this is supposed to be a 24-hour base that helps keep the oils at bay. So we're going to see how this works on my clients, not me, because I'm dry. <laughs> I also got the Jouer Blush and Bloom. This is the Cheek and Lip Duo. So basically, one side is the blush, and then one side is like a highlight, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, both of them are. Yeah, both of them have a little bit of color. So I'm excited to try this. I probably would use this. Um, yeah, this is not gonna be, this might not be too, this might be a little too. Uh, yeah, no, this is going in my kit as well because this is a little too light. So this is going to be perfect for like bridal or for that no makeup, no makeup look, makeup trend. This is going to be perfect for that because it's not going to give you a lot of color payoff, but it definitely give you a wash of color. And then you can also use it on your lips. So it's like a two for one type of deal. But I'm definitely going to put this in my kit because I think it would go a long way in my kit versus with me. Got a sponge, a beauty blender sponge. It just came out with like a new color, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Also, Kosas came out with finishing powders that I'm super excited about because I love Kosas. You guys saw the video where I did the Kosas and it was like a highlighter. I'll link that up above so you know what I'm talking about. But I love that big bronzer, like highlight feel. It was so gorgeous on the skin, so I really wanted to try out their powders. I got mine, and this is called the Cloud Set. Kosas Cloud Set Fake Setting and Smoothing Powder. Um, this one is in cloud silky so I thought this would be super pretty to set it kind of reminded me of the Mac mineralized skin finish so I did want to try this one out I know this one is a clean brand um, if I'm not mistaken so super excited to try this out okay so this smell is not as bad as that hot that like bronzer because that bronzer smell was horrible so Thank goodness it don't smell like that. But yes, I also got this. So we're gonna try this out and see if it compares to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish because those are my rider dyes. Those are my babies. They, you know, they can't do no wrong. 
Oh, so I'm really excited about this one. So this one is the Tatcha Silk um, Powder. So this is a setting powder. It's supposed to smooth over the texture of your skin, pores. It's supposed to keep your skin looking flawless. So I'm really excited to try this one out. This was one of my main reasons to even go in. No, ma'am. <laughs> This was my main reason to even go to Sephora was to get this powder. So we're gonna try this ASAP and you guys are gonna see what I think about it. I forgot, I also got another one of those hyaluronic things from Charlotte Tilbury, the lip balms. And this was in the darkest color and this is called Passion Kiss. So this was for the days that I wanted a little bit more color to the lips, but not like, um, like I have to have on a face to wear. This was more of like a wash of color to the lips. So this one, oh, you've twisted. So this one, it does not twist down. So this one is more of like a browny, nudey type of color. It's super excited to try this one. Just be careful because these don't twist down. So whatever you twist up, that's what you stuck with. Don't say I ain't tell you. And then lastly from Sephora is the um, perfume from Killian. I know, another damn perfume. <sighs> All right. So the reason behind this one, I actually got another one too, but the reasoning behind this was because these are supposed supposedly not being good at, not going to be sold in Sephora stores anymore. So they were only supposed to be sold in Russia and on the Killian's website. Now this came from Killian's mouth themselves, not me. So I, I'm like, I'm not about to order offline. I want to be able to get it. So I just got backup. So, well, this is not the backup. I got the backup of the Princess perfume in the big bottle. And then I tried out a new scent and this one is Kissing by Killian. This one smells like sweet, but like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It just has like a unique smell that you would remember. So I definitely got this one. And then I got, of course, the backup of um, Princess. So let me show you what the bottle looks like. So this is what the bottle looks like. It is super weighted. So this you pull off, this is the top, and then this is the bottle. It just smells so good. I don't, I don't know, it smells so good. At first I thought it smelled like um, Prada, but it doesn't, I don't know. Oh, it smells so good, I'm gonna have to get one more. Don't judge me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get one more. It smells so good, I don't, I don't know. It just smells amazing. Um, and then, Lastly, from Sephora, I got the glitter, the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is really, really good if you want to keep glitter on your eyelid, anything with shimmer. This stuff is amazing. This has been sold out forever, forever. So when it was back in stock, it was only like two left when I went. I grabbed one and I was like, yeah, I ain't waiting no more. So this is a phenomenal. This is going to go in my kit, not with me because I really don't wear like glitter like that. So definitely going to my kit definitely amazing if you see it grab it all right so lastly from we i went to ulta and in ulta i got the morphe lip gloss in attention and this is just like a pink lip gloss um i just wanted something like to kind of oh pink and gold actually i just wanted something to just kind of throw on the lips that kind of gives you like the baby doll pink type of feel and i think this is going to do it it is right here um i think that's going to do it so i'm really excited about that and then lastly but not least um so we remember we tried the Morphe foundation. I'll link that video up here as well. Um, and I was like, the color was a little too dark, a lot of bit too dark, which I didn't mind being a little deeper. However, I felt like it was a little too deep. Um, so I went back and I grabbed um, Rich 30 and Deep 33. I think Deep 33 is gonna be my color. Matter of fact, I didn't even try it in store because you couldn't. So I probably should pump it now. Oh wait. Let me see. Let's get it open first. Let's see if I did good like I did the other one. Deep 33. I'm going to pump it and let it sit because I felt like it got darker once it sat. So that's deep 33. Oh, I feel like that's my color. Okay. And then... This one is Rich 30, which I think Rich might be a little too warm for me. Well, this actually is getting a little darker. Damn, I could have went down a fucking shade. 
Okay, so this is Rich 30. I don't even know why I'm hitting it like it's liquid like that. Which, okay, I think, yes. So Rich 30 is my shade because these warm up. So yeah, Rich 30 is my shade and I probably can mix the two and it'd probably be even better. Yeah. So yeah, that, yeah, I'm Rich 30. Damn. So yes, um, I went back to get the correct shade because I did feel like it was worth going back to get the correct shade. Um, so yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. The next video after this one is going to be a makeup tutorial. And then the one following that um, is going to be probably my vlog. And then the one after that is going to be the one that I'm excited about, the new products. And then I have, a, I have like four or five videos lined up for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the new filming setup, the new lighting. I hope you guys enjoy it because I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. I'm excited to edit it. And usually, you know, editing is actually really fun for me. But yeah, I'm excited to see and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope visually it's good. If it's not, you know, let's work through it together. Let me know how you like the lighting down below. Let me know what your favorite product was that I hauled. And also let me know if your toddler stays up to the wee hours of the morning because she don't want to go to sleep no but let me know what new products you guys grabbed and yeah i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video bye